What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yeah, we went through a lot. Went through the Weather Institute, grabbed ourselves a, uh, well, an old friend of ours, good old buddy Raiden. Yeah, that guy. And, uh, well, we finally made it over to Fortree City. And, well, as many of you guys can see, Fortree City lives by its name. A lot of people live in trees. You know, tree houses and all that stuff. I really wish, as a kid, I had a, uh, a tree house. But yeah, where I li where I'm from, there's not a lot of them right here. But yeah, this place is a uh, well. There's not a lot that you can do right here except for gym battle. And well, this guy right here is like, roar! I need it. I have to get me a Volbeat. I'll do anything for it. Uh, did you hear that? My shout from the uh, bottom of my heart. Having heard that, do you, will you trade your Volbeat for my Plusle? Wouldn't you? And, uh, well, I don't know if I captured a full beat. I think I could. I don't know. Eventually, I'm gonna have to trade these Pokemon and all that stuff. But, yeah, there's not a lot that you can actually find here in Fortree, except for some people that may give you some items, and, well, this person's like, people, Pokemon. Their hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awoken. I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me, have I palmed it in the right hand or the left? And it's usually in the right, right? right again it's in the right and the next one will be in the left yes splendid your uh, hidden power has woken and we get ourselves the tm10 which is hidden power and well there is a certain math behind hidden power and uh yeah i'm not going to take the time to actually get this uh to actually explain hidden power. So if you guys already know what hidden power is and you know, you know, you would like to explain it on the comment section, please do so. Now, talking to this individual, he is actually teaching you sleep talk. And if you guys don't know what sleep talk is, you put yourself to sleep, you sleep talk. Sleep talk randomly picks a move from your move set from there. And it hopefully it's a move that, you know, it uh it, it's physically it physically hits. I don't know, like snore or body slam. It's kind of like sleepwalking or something like that. So, yeah, we're not going to be doing that just yet. And, well, let's go right ahead and come right here. And I think if you talk to this guy, well, speaking about Pokedexes, I remembered something. I met a trainer, Steven. When I was res or when I was searching for rare stones, oh boy, did he have some amazing Pokemon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained by to, uh, to terrifying extremes. He might even be stronger than the gym leader in this town. Hmm. Yeah, you got me curious. And talking to this guy, he's like, what's that thing you have there? Oh, it's called the Pokedex. It's really awesome. Yes, it is very, very awesome. And, well, here's where you can go to the gym. Unfortunately, there's, uh, yeah, there's something unseeable down the way. Yeah, this is where we're going to have to progress in our little episode. And, well... No one believes me, but I saw this gigantic Pokemon in the sky. It seemed to squirm as it flew towards Route 30 131. By the way, Sniff. Hmm. You, uh, smell singed. Were you in a volcano or something? Yes, I was. Now, Route 131, where would that be? Let's go ahead and go to the, the Hoenn map right here. Now, if we press the A button, Route 30, 131 is probably going to be right around here in this general area before Pacific Log Town. And that right there is towards Sky Pillar. So yeah, we got ways away before we get to Sky Pillar. And well, there, go bird Pokemon. Eventually you'll find that bird Pokemon somewhere. By being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends. And that brings the world closer together. I think it's wonderful. It is. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else that we can actually find here? It's not from, uh... Oh, yeah, you can actually buy some items right here. Talk to this person. You will be able to buy some materials for your uh, secret base. As you guys can see, you'll buy yourself some desks. Uh, I do believe if you talk to this person, you'll buy some chairs. Yeah, you'll buy a bunch of chairs. Look at that. And, uh, well, I kind of, I, I would love to make secret bases and all that stuff, but the funny thing is that the only person that would be able to do secret bases with is myself doing the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire thing. And, yeah, I did complete both games during the Christmas season to actually, uh, 
to actually make this happen. And well, Pokemon and people have adapted to nature to, for survival. There's no need to take nature or make nature and conform the way we want to live. That is true. The tree houses of Four Tree are great. I think it's the number one town for living together with Pokemon. It is. Okay, so. Like I said in the last episode, we are going to be going through routes one, what, let's see, route one, or routes 120 and 121, mainly because we got some stuff to do right here. We got to train our Pokemon, we got, uh, yeah, we got business to take care of, and yeah, we're going to be speed battling along the way. As you can see up, up top, there are some areas where you can actually chop down some trees. So we're going to be speeding through this whole thing, and hopefully evolving Raiden to its final form. Getting our Pokemon ready for the next gym battle, even though I'm probably ready. More than ready, I should say. And, well, let's go with Raiden right here. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt again. And right now, Raiden's, you know, he's, a, he's doing his own thing. Look at that. Okay, and, well, let's see. So, isn't this... Isn't this funny, guys? Because this is the same, well, the same exact location where we actually found ourselves our Absol in the last Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. This ep or in this gener- or in- not in this generation, but I would say in this walkthrough right here, we're gonna keep Raiden. It's- it's- it's Raiden's redemption story and all that crud. And well, we do see some familiar faces. Let's go right ahead and switch it up to Vesuvius right here. And talk to her, Gabby. Yes, we remember you. Yes, we are very, very strong. We're mighty. Okay. So here we go, taking on TV interviewers, Gabby and Ty, and they have the same Pokemon. Now remember, this is the final place you'll be able to find these guys, but later on, they will be progressing in their levels. They will fully evolve their Pokemon. Well, whoever has uh, the Magneton has fully evolved its Pokemon. Loudred will eventually become an x later on. And well, just like that, we kick some butt, take some names, Vesuvius, Throwing out its flamethrower. There we go. And well, let's go with Ember and High Jump Kick again. And just like that, we have won. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Vesuvius. Kicked some butt, taking some names. And well, Gabby has been defeated. And just like always, we have to do an interview. So let's see. Two episodes ago, we said surprise. I think I said that mainly because, well, you know, hey, it's a surprise to see these guys again. So, let's go right ahead and change this answer. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Um, conditions. Let's go with conditions. I can't say awful because it's bad. Um, let's see. Different. Let's go with different because this battle was different because they had evolved Pokemon. That is awesome. Okay, alrighty. So, we got that. And, well, she'll be seeing us. Now, I'll be right back with you guys. I got to do a little something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back, and, well, I needed to get a Pokemon with uh, with Cut in order to open up these spots right here. I always miss out on the Pokemon with Cut, and, well, let's see what we can actually find, because there is going to be a spot right here where we can actually get another rare item, I believe. And here we found ourselves a rare candy, which is great, because uh, <laughs> we're going to need it. Especially for Raiden. Now, let's see. Um, let's go right ahead and put on a Super Repel right here because I don't want to get attacked by the Pokemon just yet. There is a there is a secret base right here, but there is another spot. You can't get here until you remove whatever it is that is blocking that whole thing. You see, again, we're, we're getting not blocked from our destiny and all that stuff. And uh, there is a bird catcher, a bird trainer right here. So let's go with Raiden. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure. My Pokemon is strong. How about yours? They're just as equally, if not better. Probably more stronger than your Pokemon right here. So, here we are taking on Bird Keeper Robber. And he's coming out with his Swablu right here. And, well, let's go with a Thunderbolt. Oh, yes. Thunderbolt for the win. And that nearly takes away Swablu. And, well, here comes a Fury Attack. Thunderbolt again, and just like that, we win. Yeah, buddy. And, of course, he's like, you can be counted on to get it to be better. I'd like to register you in my Pokenab, and, well, there it is. We got Robert on our Pokenab. That's always nice. 
So, let's see. Before we do anything, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. And... Let's go with Hadouken right here. I want... You know, I want Steven Stone to know what exactly he's getting later on in this whole walkthrough right here. And, well, there he is waiting for us. We... Well, there's something blocking us. There's literally something right there. If you guys can't see the shadow, there's something right there. Now, if you talk to Steven, he's like, Hmm, Draven, hi. It's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on an invisible obstacle... No, no. Rather than describing it, I should just let it show you. That would be more fun. Uh, Draven, are your Pokemon ready for battle? Yes, we are. Okay, Draven, show me your true power as a trainer. And here is the Devon Scope, and there is a an invisible Pokemon, and well, would you look at that. There it is. Yes, there is a Pokemon right here, and that is Kecleon. Oh, yes. Kecleon is being invisible and all that stuff, and yes, Kecleon does have an ability, Color Change, which changes it into a type. In, well, into the type that gets attacked, and obviously, it is a... It is a dragon type attack that we hit it with, so it should be easier to make it, make it faint. So here we go, dragon type attack for the win, and uh, yes, just like that. Oh wow, Kecleon will not go down easily, and you know something? I like this. Let's go with a Pokeball because, well, you know, yeah, Hadouken is two levels above it, but I don't. I wouldn't consider Kecleon the weakest Pokemon, and well. Just like that, we have caught ourselves a Kecleon. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's see what, what's up right here. So here we have Kecleon, the color swap Pokemon. A Pokemon that has the ability to alter its body colors to match its surroundings. A Kecleon reverts it to, uh, to its original colors if it's startled. Okay, just like a, I guess a chameleon, a gecko, I don't know, chameleon, yeah. It is now being placed into our spot and well, Steven Stone's like, I see. Your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Dooford. I'd like you to have this Devon Scope. Who knows? There may be another uh, concealed Pokemon. Yeah, there are quite a few. Thank you for the Devon Scope, homeboy. And he's like, I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. And I wonder where that somewhere will be. Okay, so let's continue on right here. Like I said, we're gonna be battling. We're gonna be doing uh, the business. We're gonna get raided. Uh, we're gonna get raided to evolve and all that crud in this episode. So let's go right ahead and take on this guy. Asking me what moves uh, do we have to get strike uh, strike flying type Pokemon? Well, I got plenty. So he comes out with a Wingle, and we're gonna go with a Shockwave. Obviously, he's gonna go first. So let's go right ahead and uh, hmm. hyper potion this. And let's go with a shockwave. Just like that, we win. Level 22. He's going to be coming out with a Natu, so we go Thunderbolt. And here we go. Shockwave for the win. And look at that. Yes. We're getting some butt. Taking some names. Alrighty. So let's see. There is another spot right here where you can actually find a hidden spot. Hidden item, probably. I don't know. I could be wrong. But let's go right ahead and attempt it. So here we go, we got two double battles. We need just conceals ourselves under our camouflage cloaks. I bet you didn't know where I was. I, I, I did, I really did. Okay, so here we go. Taking on two individuals right here. A ninja and a battle girl. And they're gonna be coming out with some pretty cool Pokemon right here. Ninkata and Meditate, so let's go right ahead and kick some butt right now. Thunderbolt right here. And high jump there, and there we go. Paralysis, Thunderbolt again, and let's go with Strength right there. And just like that, we have defeated these two guys right here. So let's go with another Thunderbolt. Strength onto Makahita, and well, this guy wants to actually lower our accuracy, so let's go right here. And Shockwave will not work against my Pokemon Shockwave, so there we go. And Raiden grows to level 23. Dalsim continues to be our strongest Pokemon at level 39. And, well, look at that. Alrighty. It is what it is. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Sage. I don't want Sage to lose uh, its lead right here. So here we go. Your party Pokemon. Do you have different types? 
me, my or me, Pokemon, and my Parasol. If any one of them is missing, the picture of beauty will be ruined. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so here we go, taking on Cool Trainer Li Lionel and Angela, and well, she's got a cast form right here. Now, cast form will transform into whatever weather event is going on. So technically, now it is a uh, it is a water type Pokemon. And yes, we're going to be going with a Leaf Blade onto this Pokemon right here. So here we go. Leaf Blade. Hopefully it beats this main trick. And no. Okay, so we are static. And well, here comes a Thunder Attack. And wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold the phone. I thought I had Lightning Rod. That is not cool. Okay. What the heck happened right there? I thought Lightning Rod uh, would prevent any of this stuff. Okay, so... Let's see, let's go ahead and revive this Pokemon. What in the mother grabbing happened? Okay, Leaf Blade onto this guy. And of course, he's beating our Pokemon, so let's go with Raiden right here. Let's go with. Uh, oh crap, Baskets. Here we go. Leaf Blade. And wow, wow, this Pokemon is kicking our butts. Wow! Holy crud, okay. Yeah, okay, so we are <laughs> literally losing our Pokemon right here. And I am getting very, very angry, so let's go with that. Leaf Blade onto this guy, and just like that, we get points. Wow. That's not cool. That is not cool. Uh, wasn't this the lady they had, whatchamacallit, uh... Milotic or something? Shoot! So there we go, we get ourselves a revive. I am looking out for you two right there, that's a pretty good combination. And I think that's the lady with the Milotic, I could be wrong. So let's go right ahead and revive some Pokemon right here. Really really angry after that last battle right there guys probably should have been a little bit more prepared so I go and get Hadouken and let's see what happens right here Pokemon have many special qualities or abilities if you want to become the first class trainer learn about them okay so here we go we're gonna be taking on Jennifer and she's coming out with a Sableye right here Thunderbolt Thunderbolt, there we go. Faint attack really kicks our butt, so we're really not doing anything with this Pokemon right here. So let's go with Hadouken. Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw. How in the heck does... Okay, this is getting annoying. Time to destroy these Pokemon. And, wow, I choose the wrong... I, do, I choose the wrong move right here. Okay, Rock Slide. Rock Slide, there we go. Eat it. Okay, so, yes, I am thinking, but I am getting a little angry. All right. Let's cut this and see what we can actually find. And no, I don't care, Kira. Okay, just moving on. So as you guys can see right here, you will be finding another secret base. And you will be finding some berries. So let's go right ahead and get these Aspear berries. And, well, let's see. I don't think there's anything else with uh, with cut. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to skip forward. I'm going to skip forward a, a, a bit and grab another Pokemon and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so here we are back and well, we got Jows back into the team and well, it is time for us to go and uh, complete this whole thing right here. As far as it could take us, you know, that kind of stuff, the whole training. So this person right here is like, how's your physical fitness? If you're not fit, you could have a rough time in critical situations. How much you want to bet? I don't know. But she, she, she is uh, telling the truth, guys. Keep a healthy love lifestyle as a personal trainer. Yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure that you gotta keep fit. That way you don't struggle in many many aspects like you know a nice walk, you know all that stuff. Anywho, here she's coming out with a low Ted, and I'm gonna be switching out because well yeah low Ted, not good for my good old buddy Raiden, and well he's coming out with a Lombre. Let's go with Joust right here. Slash attack, slash attack again, and bam Raiden grows to level 24. And they're going to be coming out with a, a Nuzleaf, so let's go with Vesuvius right here. Ember attack, Ember attack again, and well, Jenna has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, so let's see, who's next right here? And obviously we're getting calls from Jackson, and he wants the battle us yet again. Now I think there, yeah, there is a spot right here where there is a hidden, what's his name? Uh, a hidden uh, Kecleon, and yes, this guy will try and battle you. So, let's go right ahead and do that battle this guy kick Leon level 30 we already caught one so let's go right ahead and give Raiden some uh, good old experience points right there and it, it is now an electric type Pokemon so quick attack and wow that that side beam really hit us so 
Let's go with Sage of the Halo. And Fury, or Leaf, Leaf Blade right there. And there we go. We have defeated this person. Okay, alrighty. So who's next? Who's next? Just like Goldbrook said. And, well, I have to heal up my Pokemon, too. Because, yes, this is never a good thing that, you know, your Pokemon's getting his butt kicked while training. And, yes, I do know that I do have a Pokemon... Or I do have a, uh, what was it called? A, a rare candy. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and battle this person right here. I'll check your Pokemon and see if they're fit for the outdoors. What is it with these people in, like, <laughs> fitness? Like, if you want to really check on me, then damn. They, they shouldn't be called uh, Power Rangers. They should be called, uh, whatchamacallit, uh... They should be called uh, personal trainers or something. So, let's go with Vesuvius right here. And there we go. And just like that, we're going to be doing the same thing right here, fake out, rock slide, and well, this guy's kicking our butt right now just because he has an advantage in the rain, so let's go straight for a giant jump kick, and here comes another Nuzleaf, so let's go straight for Hadouken, Hadouken, there we go, Dragon Claws for the win, and there we go, we're almost close to level 33 right here, so this is pretty cool. Alrighty, so that's another one done, and well... We can cross this and grab this. We found ourselves a chicken nugget. This right here will actually pay us a nice amount of money to buy, you know, rare items and all that stuff. And, well, we've already caught ourselves a Meryl right here, so I'm just going to get out of here. And we are going to be going straight into the next route right here. And everybody say hello to not that guy, but... Okay, I was about to do something right there. So... Let's go right ahead and start battling this guy right here. Want to battle? Obviously. He is a very, very antisocial person. So let's go right ahead and take on Jeffrey right here, coming out with a Surskit. Now, the cool thing about this guy is that each time you battle him, he does train up his Pokemon, and it eventually becomes a Masquerade. And well, I'm not gonna chat, I'm not gonna learn Odor Sleuth right there. And, well, we're going to continue on right here with Thunderbolts. And there we go. Thunderbolts again. Yes. We have defeated Ray or Jeffrey right there. And he's like, do you have a Pokenab? Yes, we do. We have the Pokenab. Let's go and uh, grab some more stuff right here. Look at that. We found ourselves another Hyper Potion. This ought to be good. And, well, let's see. There is this part, this part of the whole place. Berries grow by soaking up sunlight. We help the berries grow by watering them regularly. It's an expression of love, isn't it? Sure. Let's go right ahead and say yes, and she says we understand it. So what's going to happen is she's going to give us an Iapapa, Iapapa uh, berry, very rare berry. And well, let's go right ahead and grab these peck berries. There we go. Grab this peck berries and another peck berries. There we go. And well. Here we're going to be finding more berries. Look at that. More berries in more secret places. Grab this. Berries. Yes. And, well, let's see. More berries right here. And berries right here. There we go. And let's go ahead and surf and see what happens right here. Okay. Grab this. We found ourselves a full heal. And, well, let's go straight back and see what else we can actually find right here. Now, there there are some trainers right here that you can actually battle. So, we're going to be doing that, continuing this whole thing with our good old buddy Raiden. We need him to become Raiden. You know, the Lord of Thunder. And, uh, you know, eventually... Oh, crap baskets, come on! See, that's what happens when you, like, you know, you rush things. So, we're going to go with Hadouken with all that defense. And, well, let's go right ahead. Let's see. Let's see what we gotta do. Okay, we gotta revive our Pokemon right here. So, let's go with this. Raiden. There we go. And a speed boost comes in. Let's go right ahead and go with a Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw again. And there we go. Hadouken grows to level 33. This is always cool. And, well... Yeah, again, my Pokemon getting his butt kicked. Eventually he's gonna love me for it. Probably, I don't even know. So let's go right ahead and battle whatever trait or Pokemon are here. And yes, I have been capturing Pokemon off screen, including a new Cybot. Yes, I have captured him. And here we have a hiker. 
Uh, let's see. Are you perhaps searching in ancient ruins in the, uh, that are pro uh, rumored to possibly exist according to legend? Yes. Probably. I don't even know. So, here we go. Taking on Ruin Maniac Chip, and he's going to be coming out with a ball toy. Unfortunately, I am not going to do any uh, anything about that, because ball toy, yes, it is uh, doing that. Look at that. You see? Defense. Defense wins championships, all right? And, well, let's go with a Dragon Claw. And he's coming out with a Sand Slash. So let's go again with another Dragon Claw. And Raiden grows to level 26. You guys know what that means. Holy crud, okay. And, well, look at this. It's about darn time. Raiden is finally evolving. Took us one episode, but... This Pokemon right here is going to do good things. Very, very good things in the next episode because we're going to be battling some uh, some gym leader and uh, it's probably going to be doing the. It's probably going to be taking it uh, taking it out on everybody since you know we kind of we kind of misplaced it right around this area right here in the last walkthrough. So as you guys can see, we got main neck trick, and well, as you guys can tell, this place right here is one of the places that you will be able to find them, uh, find our Reggies and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Raiden, the main Ectric. Still has Lightning Rod. This... Okay, Lightning Rod... I'm still a little angry about that, because we did faint uh, over a Thunder attack right here. But as you guys can see, its stats have been boosted. It's more of a special attacker. Speedy Pokemon, but we're going to be doing some stuff with this guy right here. Anywho, let us continue on right here. Let's move on forward, maybe I get attacked by a Pokemon. And, yes, look at its pointy head right there. Okay, so, I believe this is where it all ends. Because once you enter... Oh, no, you can actually go to Route 121. And you're going to get yourself another battle right here. So, we're going to go with these two Pokemon. And, well, we're going to battle these guys. Okay, so... Right there. Okay. There are powers beyond our understanding in the world. Really? Can't you see that I have all this stuff with me? Despite that... You still insist that I that we battle? Yes. Okay. Let's do this. So we're taking on two of the. Well, this is an this is an odd couple right here. So let's go right ahead and just do the do the business right here. Let's go with a leaf blade tag team style. We are fully evolved. Thunderbolt onto you. Leaf blade onto you, and just like that, thunderbolt again. And there we go. We have defeated this guy. Thunderbolt again. Leaf Blade. And look at that. Tag Team. Yes, we're kicking some butt, taking some names, doing everything. Alrighty. Yes, he lost it. Huh. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There are more berries right there. And there is a, uh, you know, a nice uh, lady right there. We're going to get attacked by another Pokemon. And let's go ahead and grab these berries right here. Again, you know... Didn't know that grabbing berries and breeding them and all that stuff actually worked out for, like, you know, uh, for its stats going into the contests and all that stuff. And then, most importantly, going into the Battle of Frontier and all that crud. So, we're going to be battling this chick right here. And let's see. And, yes, I have a good Pokemon. Or she has good Pokemon and all that stuff. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and take on Beauty Jessica. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay, so she's coming out with a Kecleon. And Shockwave does its thing. Here comes a faint attack. Let's go ahead and switch it out to Vesuvius now and go with the Magnitude. And, well, she's coming out with the Survivor, so we're going to keep it just like this. And, bam, we have defeated her. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, yes, we are easy on the eyes. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what's going on. Okay, we're to move to Mount, out to Mount Pyre. And that right there is something so we're not gonna go any further right here guys because well yeah there, there there are quite a few things that we need to actually accomplish so what's gonna happen off screen is that I'm actually gonna train but uh, I'm actually gonna train our good old buddy Raiden for just a little bit longer we're gonna be going into the the sixth gym battle or I think yeah we're gonna be going into the sixth gym battle and then after that we're gonna be coming back right here taking care of all the the little the little stuff, kind of like, you know, Mount Pyre, Safari Zone, and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being uh, patient as always. If you guys want to make a small do donation to this channel, button's right there. Bam. Yes. Thank you. 
And I want to thank every single one of you guys who have made a donation. It is greatly appreciated. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.